today we will discuss basic operations on continuous time signals in basic operation we will delay advance or scale the continuous time signals special operations on continuous time signal in special operations x is modified in the form of x alpha t plus beta where alpha where alpha and beta are real numbers here alpha is responsible for scaling of signal and beta is responsible responsible for time shift of signal now to modify xt in the form of x alpha t plus beta we will have to follow certain steps steps to follow steps to draw x alpha t plus beta first step assume that alpha is 1 and draw and draw x t plus beta if we assume alpha 1 then x alpha t plus 1 becomes x t plus beta now after drawing x t plus beta divide the original value of original value of alpha in the time axis of x t plus beta this will give x alpha t plus beta so to modify x t in the form of x alpha t plus beta first of all we will assume that alpha is 1 then the signal becomes x t plus beta we will draw x t plus beta if beta is positive then x t will be advanced and if beta is negative then x t will be delayed then after drawing x t plus beta we will simply divide the original value of alpha in the time time axis of x t plus beta that will give x alpha t plus beta now let's see some examples where we modify x t in the form of x alpha t plus beta suppose this is xt here we have to modify xt let us draw x 2t plus 1 xt is given we have to draw x 2t plus 1 here alpha is 2 original value of alpha is 2 and beta is 1 now to draw x 2t plus 1 from xt first of all 
we will assume that alpha is 1. Now if alpha is 1, then signal is, then signal becomes x, xt plus 1. Now we will draw xt plus 1 from xt. To draw xt plus 1, we will simply advance the signal xt by 1 second. In advance operation, the entire signal is shifted towards left side by 1 second. Let us, let us draw xt plus 1. The signal is xt plus 1. Now to draw x2t plus 1 from xt plus 1, we will divide the original value of alpha that is 2 in the time axis of xt plus 1. So if we divide minus 3 by alpha, then this becomes minus 3 by alpha or 3 by minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1.5. So the value of signal xt plus 1 at t equals to minus 3 will now move to t equals to minus 1.5 if you draw x2 t plus 1. Similarly minus 1 divided by alpha minus 1 divided by alpha that is minus 1 by 2. It means the value of signal xt plus 1 at t equals to minus 1 will now move to minus 1 by 2 or minus 0 0.5 if we draw x to t plus 1. 0 divided by alpha, it remains 0. It means the value of signal xt plus 1 at t equals to 0 will remain at t equals to 0 if we draw x to t plus 1. Similarly for 1 also, 1 divided by alpha that is 1 by 2. Value of signal at t equals to 1 will now move to 0.5. Now, x2t plus 1 is This is x 2 t plus 1. Now, let us draw some other signal. x t is same. Let us draw x t by 2 plus 1. This is given x t. We have to draw x t by 2 plus 1. It means we have to modify x t in the form of x alpha t plus beta. Now here alpha is 1 by 2, beta is 1. First of all we consider alpha as 1 and we draw x t plus 1. Alpha is 1 by 2, beta is 1. Let us assume that alpha is 1, then signal is, then signal becomes x t plus 1 Now we can draw x t plus 1 that is simply 
advance version of or we can draw xt plus 1 by advancing this xt by one second. This one is x t by 2 plus 1. So in, in the two examples we have seen that or we have drawn x t by 2 plus 1 and x 2 t plus 1 from x t. In first case alpha is 2 that is uh, mod of alpha greater than 1. In second case alpha is 1 by 2 here mod of alpha is less than 1. So, if mod of alpha is greater than 1, then signal is xt is simply compressed. And in second case, mod of alpha is less than 1, here signal xt is expanded. So, we can conclude that if mod of alpha is less than 1, then signal is and if mod of alpha is greater than 1 then signal is 